Only on KRDO News Channel 13, we are one on one with GOP presidential nominee Donald Trump. Why should the American public, why should the American voter trust you, sir? The answer, all new at six. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us for KRDO News Channel 13 at 6. I'm James Jarman. And I'm Heather Scold. We will get to that exclusive interview with Donald Trump in just a moment. But first, Chief Meteorologist Rachel Platt this is, is tracking story. the potential of severe weather yet again tonight. Rachel? That's right. Don't be fooled by the fact that it's pretty quiet out there, at least for southern Colorado right now, because it's likely not going to stay that way for much longer. Storm Tracker 13 Live HD Doppler radar showing the strongest storms near the Colorado New Mexico state line near Trinidad. But we still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect from Douglas southward into El, uh, El Paso County. Elbert and Lincoln included in that watch as well, which will stay in effect until 10 o'clock. This watch extends all the way up to the northern Colorado state line. And take a look at this. The severe thunderstorm that we are tracking right now is right near Fort Collins. This storm is continuing to drop off toward the south. In fact, this whole band is going to continue sliding off toward the I-70 corridor and eventually push its way back into southern Colorado. So even though it's quiet right now, this band is heading our way, so we may see another late night round of thunderstorms that could once again produce large hail, damaging winds, and very heavy rain. We will keep a close eye on that. I'll use Skycast to show you exactly when those storms are expected to move in. The other headline out there today was obviously how much cooler it was. 75 degrees is the current temperature in Colorado Springs. It's now 83 degrees in Pueblo. Temperatures are expected to continue to drop with 60s and 70s as we take you into about 10 o'clock with again that chance for thunderstorms. Storms returning. I will use Skycast to track when later in the newscast. James and Heather, back to you. All right, thanks so much. Well, Donald Trump visits Battleground, Colorado. It is your voice, your vote. Donald Trump was in the Battleground state of Colorado today campaigning. We have team coverage of the event tonight. Bonnie Silkman speaking with those who were at a town hall meeting, and Eric Fink sat down with the Republican candidate for an exclusive interview today. Three and a half months, perhaps, away from winning the presidency of the United States. Mr. Trump, how did we get here? It's now one on one. You and Hillary Clinton. It's very exciting. It's really exciting. People are tired in this country of what's been taking place, whether it's ISIS or the borders or the high taxes, uh, the regulation, which is just killing our businesses and killing jobs all over the place, losing our companies to Mexico and to other places. And uh, they really want to see something happen. So. Uh, we're leading in the polls. We're doing great in Colorado. I think we're going to do really well here. I'm here a lot. I have so many friends in Colorado. I understand Colorado. In this military community, that I asked about what he so plans to do so for the booming veteran population. What will a vote for you? How will a vote for you make a veteran help a veteran, make a veteran feel better about themselves and their life and their families? So the veterans are for me almost 100 percent. The veterans and I have bonded like probably no other group other than maybe the police. And what's happened with the veterans and what's happening with the veterans is we are going to provide proper veteran care. Veterans are taking care of so badly by our country. They're like the forgotten people. Today's visit to UCCS was his second in the campaign to this battleground state. Hillary Clinton has been here five times. You're promising to build a wall on the, Mexico, on the Mexican border. Mr. Trump, how is that going to play with Colorado voters, especially the growing number of Hispanics we have here who are showing up at the polls? I'm doing really well with Hispanics, with people that are living here legally because they want, in fact, if you look at the polls, I'm doing very well with Hispanics in the polls. I have thousands of Hispanics that have worked for me over the years, thousands, tens of thousands that have worked for me over the years. And they're phenomenal people, but they don't want to lose their jobs. They want new jobs, and they want good jobs, and they want high paying jobs. On his temperament, which Hillary went after in her DNC acceptance speech. A man you can bait with a tweet is not a man we can trust with nuclear weapons. I think I have one of the great temperaments of all time, but I have a temperament to win. She doesn't have a temperament to win. She doesn't know how to win. She's weak. She's ineffective. She's been there for 30 years, and nothing happened. She's and this country a lot needs more change. more experience than you do at the political level. Uh, she, well, in the meantime, I'm beating her. She spent hundreds of millions of dollars on ads. She's spending money like crazy, and I'm leading. And I'm holding my money until the end. 
just so you understand, she is going to set this country so far back if she ever won. This country will never recover from four more years of Obama. And all she is is four more years of Obama. Both campaigns call our state and its precious nine electoral votes a must win in November. Any idea when we'll see you back here? I'll be back a lot. I'll be in Colorado a lot. Colorado, again, it's a state that I love. I, I'm here a lot anyway, regardless of this. Uh, I'll be spending a lot of time campaigning in Colorado. Mr. Trump, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. And that was only part of our interview. For the rest, including an excerpt about defeating ISIS, head over to our website, krdo.com. I also asked about what he can do to win over Republicans who aren't quite sold on him just yet. You can find it all there on our website, krdo. Yeah, yeah because... Right. Oh, I was going to say, we heard him talking about uh, coming back to Colorado a lot in his speech today. He said, well, he's going to come back so much, we're going to be sick of him. Does that have anything to do, you think, with Hillary Clinton has, what, a double-digit lead in Colorado right well, now? Well, one poll, James, does show that she has a double-digit lead. I think the average of polls show her up about seven, eight points. She is, uh, she didn't renew an ad buy, but I was, told, I was told by her campaign that ads will be up during the Olympics in the next several weeks, and I was just told uh, today that uh, she could be potentially visiting one part of the state, maybe Denver, next week. But Trump, uh, I mean, he needs this. Both campaigns say they must have Colorado. He needs this. He's lacking an organization here. That's why you saw him here today. Yeah, and the Hillary Clinton campaign telling us that uh, she will be in Colorado next Wednesday. So more to come on that, too. Thanks, Eric. Thanks so much. And uh, th